Ah, uh, this paper that is not cool now. What's this one now? Uh, I beg take. Oh, girl, you know, say light, no day. Light, no day. Light, no day. Can't you see how hot the sun is? Then you want me to drink hot spirit water again. Ah. Ah. Ooh, man. One can easily get roasted in this one, though. Huh? I'm wondering how hell fire would be if the ordinary sun is hot like this. <sighs> Take your money. Where's my chain? Give me my chain. I'm ready to go back. Pure water, not ten naira. Not ten naira. What do you mean, pure water, not ten naira? Pure water is five naira, my friend. What, 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 I think say you know now, no vex. I beg, take the go, I beg. Oh. All of them for this country will just be trying to destroy best. No vex, no vex. No time, you have done ten there. Thank you. Akoni! Where is this fool? Where is this inefficient, incompetent, lazy get man? Akoni! Where did you leave your duty post to? Eh, uh, okay. You get some people where they make mess for there. Sir, go and place this. It's for a position for a new driver. Okay, say we we need driver me. The new MD resumes tomorrow, so she needs a new driver. If anyone calls for the job, just direct the person to me immediately. Eh, uh, go and place that. Okay. Eh, uh, Amon, okay. Make her take Eba. I go take lady. Hey, you just put me into trouble. Hey, I come and be I'm there for you. Listen, I'm here for you. Linus of yesterday is not Linus of today. Linus was an income. I've gone to Malaysia, I've made money, and I want to take care of you. Linus, this same promise that you promised me over a year ago that almost sent me back to the village. Yes, but you are back to city, and now I want to take you out of here. Linus, come and be green, please. <laughs> Things have changed. I will change your destiny. Come and see my machine outside. I don't want to follow you. I don't want to see any I mean, machine. You don't, you're not getting into it. You don't have to be Let here. I will change your destiny. Come see, you want to change. Before you propose destiny to change, go to your village. Carry your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. In fact, carry your whole village and change your destiny. I'm going to change your destiny. I don't want to hear anything. Come and be away. Be away from my dad. Come, come and see. Don't chase me out of my way. really knows what the future holds until it starts to unfold your life may be in hold but your story is yet untold mm -hmm. you might think you have found a stone but instead you found gold Today you here, tomorrow you there. Suddenly, unexpectedly, although you think you have it all planned out, but how you planned it is not how it turns out. When it starts to unfold, you'll be surprised. When it unfolds, you can hardly believe your eyes. Good afternoon. Uh, my usual job hunt now they come from. Oh, so any lucky lady? For where? No work. It's the same story everywhere. No job. How do I want to survive now? How do I want to survive? Sakon, is there still no opening here? Even if it's factory work, I don't mind doing it. Factory work, yes. yes. Eh, you know, say, if there's any vacancy, I for don't tell you, I'm happy with you. All this book where you read, finish, nah, factory work you won't can do. If I get factory job now, it's a big deal for me. I will manage it until I get something better. I need a job fast. See, the landlord is threatening to throw me up by month end. Oh, 
Hey, God will provide you work for you, eh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm I even have a valid driver's license. Say, you work on the drive for, for us, ni? Yes. I will manage it until I get something better. Ah. Eh? Yes. Okay. Say, in waiting happen. You will go inside this place. You will meet the reception. Okay. If you meet the reception, okay. Then you tell us, say, you look for PM. Okay. If you meet PM, then you tell us, say. That's personal manager. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, I nah, know. Nah. Tell her, say, mm, you come for this vacancy. Okay, but please, eh, don't go and put this notice outside. So that ah, will not sit and I'll my chance to get in the chair. I'm going to go back. You'll be my buddy, but you mean we'll do that. You said you'll be there. You know what? Ah, I will hold on to it, yeah? Let me go inside first and find my lock. If it doesn't work out, then I'll move back out. What is that? I saw you look for the work, me. This one at try for again. If you begin carry a uh, vacancy, like say you don't get this job. So, is this you, Gabriel? Is this me or in body and flesh? <laughs> it's, been, it's been like three years or more now. Guy, tell me, what are you doing around here? Guy, in a job I don't do hunt for sin, so I. I <laughs> Look at you, man. You're a big guy. Look at your face. You can say it over and over again. Well, I just started with this few few months back. Uh, really? So, so you're the personal manager? Yeah, on acting capacity. You know, the company is going through a transition, and the old chairman just handed over the baton to his only daughter, who just returned from America. Well, whatever. I am just happy to see you again man, after all this year. I am happy to see you too, brother. So tell me. How has life been with you? Guy, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy at all. But I know that my problems are over now. Seeing you here again today as the personal manager of this great company. I need work. I beg. Gabriel, I wish I could help. There are no vacancies yet, except when the MD resumes and decides on that. But I saw a vacancy notice out there. That's why I came in now. Oh, that is for driver position for our incoming MD. Yes, I know. I saw, I read the notice. Please, Gabriel, give me the job. Gabriel, Gabriel, you can't be serious now. You are a graduate. I mean, has it gotten that bad? It is even worse. See, you know how good I have been at driving from our days way back in school. I am the best candidate to drive your new MT. Okay, fine. It's okay. I will let you have the job. And once a better position comes out, I will get you in immediately. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine. Thank you so much. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You are the man. Yes, you are the man. Yes, you are the man. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Come on. Don't you know, you know I'll never forget the favor you, you gave to Bang. I forget to that one. I don't get a job. I get happy. Yeah, yeah, I miss you. you. No, I miss Give you. Me. You're gonna be who you're gonna be. Oh, what's gonna be? You know, Akoni. Huh? My friend Gabriel told me that two of you live in the same compound, and I never knew all this why. Eh, ah, eh, no vessel. So. Eh, hey, Gabriel. Say, una no, una Stephanie. <laughs> Not just knowing each other. Yeah. Gabriel was my best friend back then in the university. But we lost contact after graduation. Hey, hey, hey. See, this is a small word, you. It's a small word indeed. We were like brothers back then in school. Eh? Uh -huh. Gabriel will be starting with us as the personal driver to the new MD. Okay. Ah, we do. Well, I want to ask one question. Is it that uh, uh, Gabriel has getting the work on it? At last, though, at last. And it's all thanks to you, Akoni, and then my friend, Solo here. Gabriel, see, I'm just surprised that you're excited about this new job. If only you knew how long I've been searching for a job. <laughs> my brother, half bread is better than none. Ama, Ama, Aga, I want, I want, I swan thing. Uh, say, now when Gabriel goes, he's starting working with us. He says I should start immediately. The new MD resumes tomorrow, so he needs to get acquainted with everything around. I will take you to the head of transport units. Yeah. 
Hello, good morning, Namara. How are you, ma? How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. Check me out. How do I look this morning? Oh, madam. <laughs> you look very, very fine, like fresh purple. <laughs> Amara, you won't kill me in this house with your terms. What's the connection between Papa and I? Ah, madam, fresh purple is very soft and smooth. That's the way you're looking this morning, madam. Okay. If you say so. Anyways, this is my first day at work, so I want to look good. Is that why you refuse to eat? Anyways, I have packed your breakfast. Please, my way you get to the office, try and eat. You're kidding me, right? What would the staff think of me when they see me with this nylon bag full of food and all? I mean, I'll look like some kindergarten schoolgirl to them. Anyways, thank you so much for your kind gesture. But don't worry about me, I'll be fine, okay? Where's the driver? He's waiting outside now. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. You are my driver? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Take me to the office. Right. No, it's fine. Sorry for yourself. Pick it up. Pick it up. Give it to me. Be gentle. Oh, oh, oh please don't patronize me. What do you want here? Gabriel. That doesn't answer the question. Be nice. For your information, this place is out of bounds to non admin staff. So, what do you want here? I'm the new driver. I'm here to see the RT. Oh. oh, I see. You're indeed the new driver. I see. Yeah. Go! Yes, I did. I want to tell you I enjoyed your driving today. You know, I like drivers who are confident. Thank you, ma'am. How about you know Lagos? I know Lagos very well, ma'am. There's no part of Lagos I haven't been to. Good. Um, I want you to take me to Ikeja and Papa in a short while. Okay, ma'am. I'm ready when you are. I'm always at your service. Um, one more thing. Can you quit calling me ma'am? I really don't like it. Okay, ma'am. I mean, uh, MD. Make it Miss Olivia. It's simple. Okay, ma'am. Sorry, Miss Olivia. Good. Thank you. So, how are you coping with your new madam? Miss Olivia does not like being called madam. What does she want us to call her? Indeed. Just simply refer to her as Miss Olivia. Is that what she told you? Or you are just saying you're going to put us into trouble? <laughs> Doris, you're not serious. So anyway, you're just an ordinary secretary. Me? An ordinary secretary? What is that supposed to mean? If I'm an ordinary secretary, then what are you, Madam Secretary? <laughs> well, in case you don't know, my designation has changed in this company. 
I am now the new personal assistant to the MD CEO of this company. Okay, Halebu Wakita. A big name that kills a little dog. See, Peter. Whether you are the PA, the PB, the BP, whatever you are, we are still sectaries of same level. <laughs> you can laugh as much as you want to. But when Miss Olivia approves of my official car and my executive quarters, then you realize that <laughs> my level is above yours. See, <laughs> Rita. Stay there and be daydreaming. <laughs> she will soon approve your official aeroplane, executive mansion. Maybe buy you a Bentley factor. <laughs> I can see you're already jealous. I can see. Miss. Mm. No, seriously, so I, I, I look like a butler in a cheap hotel. Do I have to wear this uniform? <laughs> You're covered, Gabriel. It is the company policy. But if you don't like it, you can talk to Olivia. Is that why you're laughing? What's funny about this now? Anyway, I'll talk to her. But, but I just don't feel comfortable in this thing at all. Oh boy, come on. That big mix so. You mean Olivia? Yes. She's so humble and down to earth. You know, at first I thought she'd be like all oh, these Ajabata girls that would go like, da. <laughs> No smelling here, I can't stand the smelling here. You know, but, but, but she's quite a different breed. Yes, you're right. She's different. But she can also be strict and principled. So you better be careful so that you don't get carried away by her simplicity. Ah, I know where your mind they go, but no worry. I know my level. <laughs> I'll dare not do anything to jeopardize this little job. Why just, why just take the whole of my body did they manage myself? All right. I learned she has been betrayed to the GM long before she went to US for study. Wow. What a lucky guy he must be. More, more like a lucky bastard. <coughs> he did beat the guy. Beef. <laughs> yeah. But he's lucky, he's lucky, he's lucky, he's a lucky man. I wish he was mine, you know. Huh? <laughs> I used to play. I don't like this uniform. Man, go back. Better. Better get work, eh? You got to go change your God, guy. Oh, no one really knows what the future holds until it starts to unfold. Your life may be in hold. But your story is yet untold. Mm. You might think. Jim. Jim. Laugh. I thought I spoke English when I said no one should come to my office to disturb me. Did I? I know. But you've been holed up in here alone since morning. What is wrong with you? And how is that supposed to be your business? Please go back to your office and leave me alone, Dobbs. Am I not your secretary? Now you are chasing me away. When that thing will hold you and you call me again, don't be angry if I refuse to call. Get out of my office before I lose my temper. Get out of my office! I wonder what's it is. Get out! I want a report of the financial transactions for the last six months. How soon can I get it? I'll work on it and I'll get it to you before Friday. Good. 
Work on it quickly. I'm off to Ikeja. See you later. Oh, hold on a sec, Olivia. Ever since you came from the United States, you didn't bother to check on my wedding. I thought we met twice after he came for a discussion with my dad. Yes, we did, but we didn't have enough time to catch up. After all these years you spent in America? I went for just a year and four months. Is that not enough time for you to have missed me? Or have you given yourself to someone else? This is an office. Then dinner at my place tonight. I'm busy. Don't you love me anymore? Were we at any point in time in love? Oh my goodness, were we not? Listen, I'm not as young as I used to be when you took advantage of me. Gebu, Gebu. Ah, ah! Amo, this is your uniform, if I know. Say so. Did you see those two girls that passed that were laughing at me? I look like somebody seven drinks and pepper soup at some roadside joint. Forget it, that one, oh, Jari. Then they, they look at you, say, you be very fine boy, and your uniform is fitting you very well. Amo, come on. This one way, you be killing this motor like this. Say, you won't go at me. Yes, so, I they carry Miss Olivia come out. Eh? Hey. Ah, no. Ah, talk of the devil. I'm not timber. I better make her go my duty post. Hi, Gabriel. Please take me to Kedja. Okay. This is your special camera. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll be okay here. Don't worry. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes. Your GM is riding with you, Olivia. Baby. Are you still busy? Has your madam gone out? Please come, let's go and eat. As you can see, I'm still busy. Mova, it's not lunchtime yet now. Huh? Well, this is quarter to twelve now. Let's go and eat lunch. I'm so hungry. Don't you know the way to the cafeteria? Or do I need to guide you there? Because I want you to buy me a lunch. You know, you're now a big madam. Personal assistant to the MD. It's not easy now. So you should buy me a lunch today. Come, let's go and eat you. Uh -huh. By the way, why are you perambulating the whole place? Is the GM your boss, not in the office? That one. He has gone out too. Immediately he saw your madam's car driving out. He just ran after her like a bingo and followed her out. Uh, please, I don't want to talk about my boss. <laughs> anyway, probably he's trying to impress Miss Olivia. He has not been his usual self since Miss Olivia resumed here as the MD. He has been behaving strangely since morning. It's not his fault. You know he used to call all the shots before Miss Olivia arrived. But now everything has changed. Just normal for him to be walked up. You know, it's business. No, go, 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 go. I'll, I'll join you. You're gonna be who you're gonna be. Oh, yeah. What's gonna be is gonna be. Wow. Everything about Lagos has changed. The road is clean and beautiful now. This is real transformation from the Lagos I used to know. Oh, yes. And that's because we have a more proactive government now, taking care of the road more seriously. I'm really impressed. The government is really working. I hope they'll be able to extend this development to all the nooks and crannies of the state. Well, if the local council can be as uh, upright as the state government, perhaps this whole city will be paradise in no time. 
I hope so. Because some inner roads and streets are really horrible. Excuse me, Miss Olivia. We are almost in a cage now. What, what part are we going to? Wow, so quickly. Um, we're going to Allen Avenue. Nath, why are you dropping? Well, I'm just taking a ride with you just to keep your company. What? Yeah. You're taking a jolly ride with me during working hours? Well, that's part of my job. It's my duty to ensure your security and safety. You know, now I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. So can you kindly get down, get to the office and get yourself busy? Yeah. Gabriel, can you just drop him somewhere here so he gets back to the office? Make sure you drive well, okay? And Olivia, take care of yourself. Duty despite my warning. Uh, okay. Oh, correct, sir. Sure, sir. There is nothing correct here. What's wrong with you? I haven't met you snoring. Ah, okay. That is no be sleep, oh. Now pray how they pray. Pray in the spirit. Yes, sir. You just better watch your back. Don't let the MD catch you. Ha, okay. That one no go happen. Ha, okay. I go shine my eyes now. I have to like shine your nose too. By the way, did you see the GM? GM? Okay, yes. Uh -huh. I saw a town when they come out. Um, when Oga, my madam, and um, give Oga give, then they come out. So when I in rush, say make you follow them. All of them come follow, come out together. How, how, come, how come he never told me? Eh. He asked me to see me immediately. Such an erratic behavior. <sighs> you can't see me this eh? Eh? Which kind of is where well, everybody with the almost everybody get baby like Os Osama? <laughs> Boy, that one. Eh? I shine my eyes, self small. <laughs> Make the sleep, self stop. Man, I'm not going to lose job. Oh. Ah! Yay! <laughs> ah! This one, I'm going to die. Ah! Oh, no. <sighs> you shouldn't have slept with her. Huh? I mean, how could you have fallen so cheap? But oh, we in love. <laughs> Does true love exist in office romance? Huh? My heart is broken. My heart, my heart is broken. <laughs> How I wish I could pay him back for all the pain he has cost me. He's a Casanova. Trust me, he's not someone you would want to meddle with. He's a he goat. I see him as a skillful player. What do I do? Okay. I think you should just. Start gathering the pieces of your broken heart. Okay. Hmm? It's okay. Maybe I should. I could. I could. Sh should what? <laughs> it's okay. I can't do it. You just stop me. It's okay. It's okay. I won't. I won't. But you won't listen. Huh? I told you. This is the way he yells at me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay now. Oh my 
my god. Everything looks totally different on the street. I, can I still remember my auntie's house? You may want to consider calling her on the phone to give us direction. No, I don't want to call her. I want it to be a surprise. She doesn't even know I'm in town. I don't remember the last time I even saw her. I think a few years ago. Uh, sorry, but what if she's not at home or she no longer lives there? I'm sure she'll be home because she recently retired as a director in one of the commercial banks. And she said don't go anywhere. Okay, but uh, do you have the house number then? That, that would be helpful. I never took note of it, but you know, let's keep going. When I see the house, I'll know. my auntie, Mrs. Otoku. Um, that's my mom's, that's my late mom's elder sister. Her husband died four years ago and she lives in this big house alone. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Who am I seeing in my house? I need your Benson! How does this be auntie? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Where are you coming from? Did you just drop from the skies or you appeared from nowhere? When did you arrive? <laughs> it's two weeks since I came, Auntie. I arranged Dad's vacation. He told me, but he never told me you were coming. I will get him when he gets back. <laughs> so, no, 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 Auntie, I beg you. I actually told him not to tell you because I wanted to surprise you. It is a pleasant surprise. I mean, look at you. Please come in, come in. Well, who, who is the young man? Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Oh, auntie, um, I'm sorry. He's my friend, Gabriel. He works with a company. I see. Both of you, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Whoa, 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 whoa. In, 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 in. Oga, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Hey, Oga, no face. Uh, say good afternoon, sir. Oh my God, what is it, Akadi? Hey, Oga, say you, do, you don't come back, me. No, I'm not back. Uh, I'm still there. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I just they asked the question because I, I want to know whether uh, an allergy will go come back. The people where you carry come out, but that means you and Oga give me, say you go leave them there, me. Akadi, you are a fool. Ah. You are a very big goat, a big one. Nothing. They only more sense. Eh? What have I done? That you are calling me a goat. That you are calling me a fool. Baba, eh? Goat. Yeah, eh? Fool. You want to go to the room? Be a goat. I don't blame you. If you if you know if you know if you know the kind of person where I be, you don't go call me a goat. I don't give like TD Gabel eh, for my hometown. I ye, go, I ye, go ask of me where well, I can you know be small boy, you don't come call and talk to me. Say don't see can I say you know go get out. So that's my plan. And I hope to achieve all of this with the wealth of your experience as a banker. And the backing of a courageous mother, which you've always been. Olivia, I'm proud of you. And I think your plan is a good one. But drawing me out of retirement to join your company, that uh, I don't know. Auntie. You can do it. The fact that you're retired doesn't mean you're tired. Um, did you discuss this with your father? Yes. And what did he say? Dad agrees to whatever I want. The company is now my inheritance and I've taken over as chief executive. So the box stops on your table now. You sound just like your mother. Bless her soul. Young man, well, 
What do you think about um, drawing me out of retirement to join the company? Don't you think I'm rather too old for that? <laughs> On the contrary, ma'am. A company like that needs all the experience to sustain its viability. And Miss Olivia here needs a pragmatic and astute management team to drive her agenda to reform and reposition the company in the face of current industrial revolution. Wow. Wow. You've blown me away. Brilliant. Okay, then. Olivia, when do I start work? Thank you so much, Auntie. You can start tomorrow if it's okay by you. You shouldn't be thanking me. I think you should thank him first. I mean, it was what he said that actually convinced me to join the company. Maybe when I start off and my efforts begin to yield results, then you can thank me. All right? You can thank me. Thank you, Gabriel. You're welcome. Now, what do I get for you people to eat? I have grilled chicken and I have potato chips, jollof rice, I don't know. Auntie, I want jollof and grilled chicken. <laughs> ah, see you My sweetie baby, baby, baby. I can't wear my money. Ah, where my money, man, they go? I see you, Baba. This one, you don't, need, you don't need a vest already. The last night, I go pay you your money. I'm a kid today. How can you just give me my money, man, come up for here? This one, you yeah, are still like my Tyson. You, you won't you fight me, ni? Tyson, <laughs> Bashali, <laughs> and no Kiev. Just give me my money, man, come up for here. Are you, Farabale? I never thought I no go give you your money. I go give you your money. I'm all, I call Farabale small for me, no, ni? Eh? Three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks. Now is your dirty mother. They tell me rubbish. Give me my money, man. They go now. I'm still here for a while. Now this one, you don't defy. Pray, defy. Pray, they go. Uh, you see, the video they like say, you know, no say, uh, money you no know, the country. But still, on still, you see that our MD, that our yoga. Quata quata. We day for here. Yeah. They don't change and they don't bring new yoga. The new yoga will come. It also go give us our money tomorrow. You don't say you be my sweet darling, pete rente. Akani. Yeah? If I come here tomorrow, say you not give me my money. Now, you go, you swear for you and your family. Uh, if you go for my affiliation for uh, Ilorifa Yetoru, they don't cost me, cost me, cost me. Now, nah, nah, blessing, everybody is blessing me. Uh, make her tell you something. You no worry. Uh, like tomorrow, I go pay you your fee. You, you go die. Uh, no, me, I no go die. Akani? Eh? You go die. Ah, I no go die. <laughs> I no go die. If I come here tomorrow, say, not give me my money. Eh? Both of us go pull up for one day. Ah! I <laughs> Pull it for one class, I think it out. I don't really like that part too. Yeah, you go pull it for a day class. How about you? Don't get it. Take it in, don't you call you. Oh, you call you, you don't walk over. Oh, walk over. Oh, you did it. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Your head knock on you. Yes, I can't hear you. Can you check your head knock on you? Ah, 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 yeah, 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 It's Oga Nati. That man that usually come and stop you. Nat. What does he want at this time of the night? I don't know. He just said I should tell you that he's around. Let him in. Olivia, my baby. Nice. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. What brings you here this time of the night? Um, first thing first, okay? I brought this for you. Wow. I know you like them. Thank you. You're welcome. Please sit down. Thank you. Wow. I can see you are enjoying. I'm having a bar 
and afan soup. Do you care for the same thing or I should let Amara prepare something else for you? <sighs> Actually, Olivia, I came to take you out so we can have dinner and then when night falls, we'll go back to my place just like old times. Wow, that's so thoughtful of you, but it's wrong timing. Yeah, um, I'm having the best dinner anyone else can think of. I wanted to call you before coming, but I really just, I wanted it to be like a surprise. Well, it's okay. Maybe some other time. When I'm not too tired like today. Oh, baby, why are you tired? Hmm? You're the boss in the company. You should learn to delegate some responsibilities to your staffs. Well, that's true, but um, I also need to learn the rudiments of the business. But that's why you have me. I've been working alongside your dad for the past. I can't even count how many years now, building up the company. You don't have a problem there, baby. I know. It's a teamwork. Anytime I need your opinion, I'll call on your attention. I'm all yours, baby. Anytime. And okay, so are you eating Ebba and Athan soup or something else? Ah, I'm a little skeptical about this now. Um, okay, let me have a taste of the food and I'll know if I want a full meal. Okay. Wow. This looks good. This is periwinkle? Yeah. Suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. She did buy me this suit. And you know, just like I did, she felt I looked ridiculous in that in that driver's uniform you guys gave me to wear. <laughs> she prefers I wear something like this so that no one knows that she's being chauffeured driven. You know, that lady can't stop amazing me. I she just likes to keep low profile. Oh yeah. Do you know that she even sits in front with me when we are going out? You know, just so as to give me a sense of belonging and make me feel important being her driver. Do you know she took me out to lunch yesterday? Really? Yeah. She must have made an impression on her. And tonight she has a meeting in town with some big dudes and she wants me to accompany her. Which is actually why she bought me this suit. You are having fun on this job, but don't get it twisted. You are here as a driver and nothing more. Come on, guy. I know my place, okay, and I'm, I'm not about to fumble, but can't a guy just wish anymore? I have no wish. You know Olivia is not for people of her class. Says who? <laughs> See, you really don't know who Olivia is, though. Olivia is the most humble and down-to-earth at your butter babe I've ever seen in all my life. Gabriel, I know she is humble and all of that, but you just have to keep a safe distance, okay? See, I've been working so hard to get you a better position so I can fix you up. Don't worry, dude. Like I said, I know and I can't afford to fumble, okay? I wish you luck. Make sure this is circulated to all departments today. And remind the GM about the financial report I requested for. All right, Mr. Lydia, I'll do that right away. All right. One more thing, Richard. I see you're a bit uneasy whenever you're with me. As my secretary, I, I prefer you more as a friend and a confidant. <laughs> Oh, that is very nice of you, Miss Olivia. Thank you very much. Well, you don't need to thank me. Just do your work consensuously with a knack of innovativeness and absolute loyalty. Then we can have a perfect bond. Okay, certainly. I'll make sure I put my best effort. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Rita. Yeah, thank you, Miss Olivia. All right. <laughs> Hey, Gabu, Gabu. Check out your girl. Eh, oh, this suit is a bit See, I see you call fine, 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 like a very fine boy. Yes. <laughs> you see, eh, the time when you and Madame he, he came, I almost not recognizing you. I'll be you, Akoni. Even me, 
when I dressed up this morning, I almost didn't recognize myself. I dressed up and I got behind the wheels of that car. <laughs> it was like a miracle. <laughs> I can only thank God for this wonderful transformation of my life, you know. Hey, you can't drive it to you. Hey, I'm all calm. Let me ask you a question. Hey, what do you call? Alpha, you know this morning you look like uh, uh, like the MD of the office and not uh, a, a motor driver. Amen. Hey, no, may it happen in reality just as you have prophesied. <laughs> I share, uh, I get one very important question to ask you. What did it happen to the driver uniform? What did so for you? I beg, I can you leave that one? That uniform just wasn't doing it for me. It made me look like a waiter seven foot in a hotel. In fact, it made me look like a colonial house boy. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, miss. Uh, Akoni, please, where can I find the MD's driver? Ah. Now, he means standing for your front, no? How can I help you, miss? Are you Miss Oliver's driver? Yes, I am. Uh, sorry, I didn't recognize you. It's all right. You're not the only one who didn't recognize me today. You look so cute. Thank you. Did you come from America with Miss Olivia? No, I didn't. Why do you ask? Never mind. Um, Miss Darwis, the GM secretary. It's a pleasure to meet you, Doris. You can call me Gabriel. Hmm. The pleasure is all mine. Um, Gabriel, my boss would like to see you immediately upstairs. The GM? Yes. I hope there's no problem. None that I know of. Okay. Um, Akoni, please, I'll be up there in case Miss Olivia needs me. Eh? Uh -huh. Ah! Miss Doris, please leave me. Eh, uh, after the Ureke plenty, please. Gebu, Gebu, Koshaba, Gemma, Loko, Gebu, Gebu, eh, Koshaba, Niru, Gobi, Osama, Aya, Gebu, Gebu, Majan, Loso, Kejo, Oma, Gidi, eh, Oma, Tibami, Oma, Mami, Oma, Daddy, let me see this look. Hello! Thank you. Wow. You're looking beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you made it today. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. And the office. <laughs> it suits you perfectly. Thank you so much. Rita, can you um, get my auntie some refreshment? Oh, no, 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 please. Uh, I'm no longer a visitor in the establishment. Now it's time. Yeah. Yes. She'll be working with us here now. She's joining us as the head of our finance department. Oh, 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 that's nice. You're welcome, ma. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I hope we can all work as a team and help my niece here take the company to the next level like you youngsters would always say. <laughs> oh, certainly, ma. With the experience and efforts of people like you, the sky would be our take-off point. <laughs> I like that. You see, that's the kind of optimism that drives the engine of growth. Um, Rita, can you call the personnel manager to come here immediately? We need to set the ball rolling. All right, Miss Olivia. Mm, excuse me, please. You're welcome again. Thank you. <laughs> yes, what you here. I think that um, under your stewardship and with the caliber of our people you have working for you, we should be able to turn this company around. Yeah? Sure. So happy. Are you sure you're not taking anything? Oh, no, fine. Okay. Now. I have an assignment for you. Very discreet and confidential. I hope you can do it. What kind of assignment are you talking about? You don't sound like a professional driver. Who really are you? Is this assignment all about me? 
Why waste so much time questioning an ordinary driver? I want you to put an eye on Olivia for me. What? Bring your voice down. Are you asking me to spy on her? I want you to bring back her boss to me. Wherever she goes, whoever she talks to, and whatever she does. I'm afraid this might be rather difficult. Fortunately, he's not free. Oh, it is tempting. No, this is trust. Scary button. I'm counting on you, Gabriel. I hope you can do it. Those are the documents. Yeah. Where's Mr. Solomon? Okay, he's on his way here. All right. Please, can you take my auntie to the vacant offices on the floor so she can make a choice? All right, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah. See you later. All right, all right, ma'am. Let's go. Let me just <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Solomon, sit. I want to talk about Gabriel and Driver. Gabriel? Yes. What about him? He's smart and confident. I learned his new in this company. We specifically employed him as a personal driver. Good. That's the quality of someone I want around me. Thank you, ma'am. Meanwhile, I don't want him to wear that uniform anymore. So please arrange a new wardrobe for him because he'll be accompanying me everywhere I go from now on. I will do that immediately. Good. Um, that guy is just way too intelligent to be a driver. So I intend giving him additional responsibilities. Whatever you say, ma'am. All right, thank you very much. You may go back to your... Give me my money. Give me my money. Secure, secure. Why are you disgracing me? Give me my money. Eh? She be me, don't beg you. Beg with you. Why are you not going to see me? Oh, so because I'm not coming, I'm not going to get my money. I can't give me my money. You want me to make me shout? Secure, wait, wait. I go show me your gun. Come here, come set with this matter. Wait, now, make... Give me my money. Oh, have a ah, see, what you have me say yesterday when you no come? I've been keeping the money for house. So I know what very rat thing come carry out. So I can't carry the money. I go play Baba Jebu. But no worry, for sure Baba You go use my money, play Baba Jebu. So man, wait, me, you go Baba Jebu, go play on Give me my money! What is going on here? What what's this commotion all about? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, I can eat my brother, I can't greet him. Oh, he's your brother? Are you not the one who supplies Maraga to him? How come he's suddenly your brother? Uh, we relate. Oh, you're from the same town, but not exactly related. Can you talk now? Uh, uh, oh, then she be my uh, sis mother to my sister to my father cousin uh, 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 relation. Okay, okay. What then is the problem? I saw her holding onto your trousers and demanding her money. Ha <laughs> oh, Gage you say you could be think something. Uh, what do you really have me say for my village for Ilori? Uh, if your if your sister won't collect money for your hand and you know can't give up, she go be dragging it by force. So she was just dragging it by force. Uh, now my village and kosho. Rara, sir. Sir, I not taken by force. I come I de play with you. I want money from boy, not greedy give me, sir. But I de go, sir. Sorry for disturbance. Check your wagon away. Now, where are you? You can have to tomorrow, may you come here. Hi. Gebu, Gebu. Have you seen your life? Eh? <laughs> Forget to. Now this is your suiting where she is, so now I make sure she say you be my yoga. Ah, you the plenty girl very well, but I don't know. Sure, you know that you're very silly. 
What if it was Miss Olivia or the GM that caught you here with this girl? Why do you allow this girl enter here to come, come and cause so much commotion? No, that can be she's all Saturday insulting me. You want change her for me? Eh, me no move. Oh, Jerusalem. Take your feet off my desk. This isn't your office. Olivia, there are better ways, calmer ways you can do this kind of a thing. You can simply just tell me to drop my leg instead of trying to dislocate them. You should know better what I hate. I don't know anything about you. I don't know what you like, I don't know what you hate since you came back from this your American trip with a straight new attitude. There's nothing strange about me, Nath. I'm still the same Olivia you used to know, but I'm wiser and more independent now. Nath, what do you want in my office? That still does not answer my question. Mrs. Odogo, what does she want here? She works here now. Executive Director of Finance. Since when and who authorized that? Since today and I authorized it. <laughs> You authorized it without consulting me. Don't you have any pressing work to do in your office? And besides, you haven't given me the report I asked you to prepare. Anyway, um, let's take it one step at a time. Good. I'll get you the report you asked me to prepare later in the day. But I actually came here to take you out with me to have lunch. I'm not hungry. Olivia, let's go somewhere very cozy where we can have a bite and, 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 and discuss. Nah, nah, listen, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in such rivalities for now. Olivia, my goodness, have you suddenly forgotten what we used to have between us? Please. Nath, please. I don't have time for such Asian fables. I've got lots of work to do. You're calling a nine years old relationship an Asian fable? Isn't that what it is? Okay, fine. I learned you having dinner with the distributor union later tonight, so I thought we should go together so afterwards we can sort out our differences. Well, I've already asked someone to go with me. You've asked someone to go with you? Who is that? None of your business to stop working. For the records, Olivia, I am still the general manager of this company. So if you're having a discussion with the distributor union, I must inform you that it is my business. I must be there. Now, need I remind you that I am the managing director of this company and I have the prerogative to decide who goes anyway. Yes. I hope it's not what I am thinking. Listen, I don't know what you're thinking but I need the financial report on my debts by the end of today. Okay. You will get it. Excuse me. Yeah. Rubbish! Who does she think she is? Who do you think you are, Olivia? What do you think you are? Who? What is it? Rubbish! Olivia, you are playing with fire and you will be consumed by that fire. You will be consumed by the same fire you are setting for. Foolish girl. Dad, what's the matter? You look stressed. What is it? What are you doing in my office, Doris? Who asked you to come to my office? Now get out of my office before I descend on you! I need to help you. I said get out of my office! You're all fools in this office. All of you are fools!
You see, my problem with you, Akoni, is that you refuse to set priorities for yourself. You still act like a boy of 18 years. I <laughs> give fine boy, Lujebe. You can see now, fine boy, you know me. I they enjoy the life. That's not what I mean. You, you ought to be more responsible at your age. Can you give me? Go, 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 See, let me tell you something. Eh? You don't try to insult me. Go along and make you see how many women me I don't give a You, you they never do anything. You they they talk any here. Let me ask you a question, Akoni. Do you end up to sixty thousand naira a month here? Yeah. Uh, do that small give my man and sixty thousand. If then they give me that kind of money, this I no go don't marry Sikira Lateko. Sikira, eh? So she can supply you paraga anytime, eh? Oh yeah, I'm here. Oh, I love a bad do, eh? Yes, sir. Um, you know, uh, no be only baraga si go give me, si go give me food, si go come give me okum for joy. Yeah, oh boy, oh boy, hold your hand there. I'm just trying to give you some words of advice. That advising me finish? Okay, make me self advising you. You see, eh? You, you still be small boy, be fine boy. You still get be a beautiful man like Osama Bin Laden. You know that guy, Abi? You fine like him. Uh, you go try small, small. Use this your fine boy. Shine this your eye like the light. So that you go to look at all those kids and they trip over for you. You know? <laughs> Suit yourself, Oga. It's your life. Alright? I'm going upstairs to the PM's office. So if Miss Olivia calls for me, you know where I am. Eh. Uh, no, I mean, no, no, I'm not going to be in my office. I'm not going to be in my office. I'm not going to be in my office. Come here, come on, disturb my own for you. Not be your fault. I'm not blaming you. I'm because I even get time to talk to you. I'm not going to be in my own duty post. I'm not going to be in my office. I'm not going to be in my office. There is, what is it? Is your madam in? Yes. Is there a problem? Did anything happen between she and my boss? Something like that. Did they have a fight or something? What gave you such a ridiculous notion? The guy stomped into his office and started raging like a madman. Oh, really? I think that cheap drug he takes have started affecting his brain. Krista, be serious for once. You were here. What happened? I want to know. Really want to know. Are you sure you want to know? I want to take it to Miss Olivia's office so you go and ask her yourself. I made a mistake by coming to see you. I know you will not tell me anything. You are so difficult. Girl, I don't know what happened. But I think you have enchanted that babe. Okay. Leave her the MD. What happened? Did she make any complaints? Yes. She said you are the best thing that has ever, ever happened to her. <laughs> oh gosh. After all these years, you still have this flair for all these your dry jokes. Miss Oliver can never say anything. Uh, yeah, she didn't actually say it that way, but obviously, man, she's impressed with you. And I think she wants to upgrade into our social cycles. Well, it seems you you didn't believe me when I told you that um, I was accompanying her to the little Another, I I believed you, but I never knew she wanted to make you a permanent escort. <laughs> you know I've got the Midas touch, and whatever I touch turns to go. Yeah, you're right. But well, you would better be careful. She's still the boss here, and one wrong move, you'll be washed down the drain. Not while I'm still Mr. Perfect. Miss Olivia has a heart of gold and I hold her in high esteem. Nothing will go wrong. Trust me. No one really knows for the future until it starts to unfold. Your life may be in hold. But your story is yet untold. Mm -hmm. You might think you found a stone, but instead you found gold. Here's the car key, Miss Olivia. Thank you very much. I really had a nice time with you this evening. And trust me, you're so amazing. 
I never knew you were this versatile. <laughs> Thank you for the dinner and the uh, privilege of being of service to you. It was quite a fulfilling experience for me. Thank you so much, Mr. Olivia. You're welcome. Um, isn't it too late for you to go home? I have a guest room with this man tonight. It's just a few minutes past ten. I can still make it. Okay. Well, here you go. You can take my car home and make sure I come early tomorrow morning to pick me up. Because it's not easy getting a car out of this area. No, don't worry, Miss Olivia. I can make it back home. Besides, where I live is not quite safe for a vehicle like yours. Really? Where's that? The place is called Baku, at the downside of town, just after the last major bridge. Wow. That must be too far and dangerous for you to go at this time of the night. Look, I'm not going to let you risk your life on my account. So I insist you spend the night. Miss Olivia, it's fine. I, I can make it. I... No but. I insist. Please sit down. Feel free. I'll let Amara prepare your room for you. Amara! 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 Oh, today you're here, tomorrow you're there. Suddenly, unexpectedly. Although you think. Oh, please, Olivia. Good morning, Rita. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anyway, how did the meeting with the distributors union go last night? It was so successful, Rita. We had very fruitful discussions and they are willing to do business with us on a larger scale. Wow! That's good news. You mean you put this off all by yourself? That was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good news, but I didn't do it alone. Gabriel helped me a lot. Gabriel? Who is Gabriel? My driver. He was there at the meeting with you? Yeah. He was, and I must admit that his strategic business acumen actually landed us the deal. Oh. <laughs> what does he know about businesses? He's just a, a, a mere driver. Quite a lot. I was so amazed. You know, it was supposed to be a small informal dinner, but the people were determined on intimidating me. Come, let me show you something. Oh, Gabriel. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, someone probably might be watching from somewhere, I don't know, so I want you to pretend like you're still busy. Okay? All right, sir. Uh, now, tell me, who was with Olivia at the dinner last night? And um, I just want to find out who accompanied her there. Okay, fine. I want to believe that was all there is. Yes, sir. That does. All I was able to observe at least. Okay, that's fair enough, but I I want you to be very observant and attentive next time, especially to all her phone conversations, okay? Okay, sir, but what exactly should I be looking out for? Come on, Gabriel, are you a fool? I said everything. Everything she does, where she goes to. I have a feeling that she has a new boyfriend now. I want to find out who the bastard is. Okay, sir, now I understand you better. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, I want you to keep this token. That's for the work well done for now. But I want you to understand there's more to where this money came from. But you will have to impress me, Gabriel. Okay, sir. I'll do my best next time, sir. Good. Miss Olivia wants me to give you this, and she asks you to act on it immediately. I'll work on it, thanks. You're welcome, sir. Um, 
Mr. Solomon, sir. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I want to ask you something about the new driver, Gabriel. What about him? Sir, hope you don't mind. Um, sir, um, there's something strange about that guy. I mean, are you sure it's safe having him as uh, Miss Olivia's driver? Come on, Olivia cannot be safer with anyone else other than Gabriel. Are you suspecting him for something? Um, um, no, not really, sir. Um, it's just that he's a little bit too polished than being a mere driver. And, I mean, are you sure he's not a spy planted by one of our competitors? <laughs> Come on. Gabriel is as harmless as a dog. I've known him way back right from our days in the university. University? You mean he's a graduate? Yes, of course. He was the best then in school. Why is he being employed as just a mere driver? Well, that was the only vacancy when he came and he needed a job badly. Oh. Sir, I mean, can't you talk to Miss Olivia? Probably she might have a better job for him. Or what do you think? At uh, the appropriate time, that will be done. Okay. <laughs> sir, I'll go back to my office, sir. Thanks, sir. There is what are you doing here? I hope you haven't come here to gossip. -o. Have I ever gossiped to you before? But that is your favorite hobby now, gossiping. Funny enough, you are the one who usually initiate gossips in this office by asking questions about this or that. So you are the chief gossip, not me. Look, you can say whatever you like. It doesn't remove a strand of hair from my skin. Has Miss Oliver arrived? Who wants to know? What is even wrong with you? Whenever you are asked a question, you are fond of answering with another question. Are you a lawyer? Look, 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 look. Doris, please, I don't have time for this rubbish now. Just leave my office. As you can see, I'm busy. Leave my office. What is even wrong with you? Just an ordinary assistant. And you are behaving like this. If you were the MD. Yep. <laughs> Pride goes in line with it. Oh. Doris, please leave my office. Leave my office. Ah. What is it? <laughs> leave my office now. Go in. What kind of a girl is this? So I presume your meeting with them yielded desired results? Of course, yes. What else do you expect? Well, congratulations. So what happened afterwards with your date? What date? Same date he told me was going to accompany you for the dinner meeting. He stood you up, didn't he? Well, I remember he told you it's none of your business. And it's still none of your business. Olivia. Olivia. Not what you want from me. So what happened to the long-lasting relationship we've had? What happened ever since you came back from the States? You've changed so much towards me. And why is that? I grew up. That's what happened. I'm no longer the little naive girl you used to take advantage of years back. I'm wiser and more exposed to the realities of life. Olivia, I've waited so long for your return. I've waited for you to come back so we can get married and produce beautiful grandchildren for your father. That's the unfortunate illusion you made me have of you and also deceived my father with. I heard of all the sexual escapade you had with the female staff in this company. Oh, did you think I'll never find out? And who is feeding you with all these lies? Who? Everything you heard about me concerning sexual escapades, they are all a lustrous mirror to blackmail. Blackmail? 
You call this blackmail? What I'm saying is not get out of my office. No more word. Sign my eyes more so that I could sign like the slides. Yeah, it is necessary, Sha. But just go easy on it so that you do not lose control of your senses. Ah, Emike, me, new is standy for grand gidigba like he looked at it. This one of you make me come on, come on, come on, sense for my head. I hope you have finally paid the money that you're winning that your paraga girlfriend. Eh, baby, will you see here? I don't, I don't see entire how Jerusalem you have. Yeah, How? When? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, just see that. See, eh? you remember that time we all of you now don't go us. So, me, I can't tell you that say, me see come in the evening. Eh, eh. Ah, you know, say, I suppose give me until it has I can use the money, go play. Papa Jebu. Papa Jebu can give me 8,000. So, I can't tell her, say, eh, I go give her 5,000 if she eh, let me enter inside Jerusalem. Oh, wow. She agreed. Ah! If you know you will go, say you, you know go get in eh, You see five thousand naira, last one, last one. But you don't know how it take up. You just see five thousand naira. Ah, oh, the body bass is here. Ah, oh, no. You can't do it. You can't do it. Ah, oh, no. 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 She could have an unwanted pregnancy. Or the both of you could be infected with STIs. I hope you use a condom anyway. Kini, kini, Jerry. Forget that one. See, eh? Last time I saw, I'm waiting at the baby that. You see, kid, I don't get the alone. What he did, he don't enter my house, no, me. The funny person will be taking care of me. So, see, kid, see, he's very, very hard working. See, can work very, very well. Okay. So, if she comes now and tells you that she's pregnant, you will really take responsibility for it. I will take her. I will grab her. Oh, no. I will take her. What do I look on me? I really don't understand what your problem is. This one can be a problem here now. Eh, I'm going to take a house with something. Eh, how you think you're managing eh, all those big, big Bugatti waiting for your office? It's yours. It is are useless like you. Oh. I mean useless. You were useful, no? What did you want to use for? Have you, have you here again telling you that she gave a letter for you before? You don't give a gave a letter. You want to get in here. I don't do plenty, plenty things for this life. Oh, see you dead here. <laughs> what is that? Hey, I'm just dead here. Oh, yes, you can have to give me another news. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Olivia, are you okay? My head aches. Okay, sorry. Um, let me call the doctor to come take a look at you. I think all you need is rest. Yeah. I need to rest. Don't bother calling the doctor. Just tell Gabriel to get my car ready. Okay, okay, I'll go tell him to get the car ready. Please just relax, okay? I'll, I'll call him. Okay. 